Hi friends, this is Jitendra Vafna. Today we will going to see a flow variable with mule swap. First question, what is a flow variable? Flow variable is used to store the value. Okay, for example, if we are getting some value into the HTTP query parameter. If you want to that store, if you want to store that value, okay, so you can use that flow variable. Why we want to store the value into flow variable? Because if you want to use that particular value. Uh, across the whole flow, okay, uh, within the uh, across the whole flow, okay, by calling subflow or 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 the flow, okay. So that's why we are storing that value into the flow variable. We will going to see how you can store the value into the flow variable, how you can access that value within the flow, within the calling flow, within the calling subflow, okay. So we will going to see into our, our demo. Let me open the AnyPoint Studio. I will say file new new project. I will say flow var app. Okay. I will simply Phoenix click on the finish. Okay. The first thing what I will do, we will going to use the query parameter. We are expecting a query parameter in HTTP listener okay url so what i will do i will drag and drop http listener into the palette into the canvas okay so i will do the connector configuration i will say i will get everything default i will say path equals to test i will say allow method equals to post okay now we want to read the value so we have to drag and we have to we want to use one component that is known as a variable that is a flow variable but uh, in this mule palette is named as a variable so we will search for variable component so you can see your variable component here so you can drag and drop the variable component in the message processor region so first thing we will what operation we have to select we will going to select set variable as our operation we will name we will okay so first thing we have we have to store that particular field in a name value pair so we have to give some name so i will say code okay so Okay, and I will say like you want to read that value from your inbound message properties that is the query parameter. So we will how you can access you have to define a mule expression language. You can say message dot inbound properties. Okay, once you dot so you can see a lot of things listener path method query parameter query string remote path. So we have to use a query parameter and what is the name of query parameter? We, uh, we will assume it will be the code. So we will say code. Okay. We have stored the query parameter into a flow variable. Now, now let now we will try to access that flow uh, that variable code into in same flow. So let example we will drag and drop set payload here. Okay. I have drag and drop the set payload. So let me try if we can access our value or not. We have to use a keyword called flow vars. Okay. Then we can dot see you can access your code here. That's it. Okay. So now you know how to access a flow variable within the same flow. Now we will use the subflow. We will uh, how you can access the flow variable into the subflow. Okay. Let's drag and drop a subflow. Okay. Now I will use the set payload again. I will drag and drop set payload in the subflow. Okay, let me try to access a flow variable here. Flow was bot. See, you cannot access the flow variable right now. Okay, so for that, what you have to do, you have to use the flow reference. Okay, so drag and drop flow reference into the main flow. Okay, and just, just check what is the name of the subflow. Flow var f subflow. Okay, you go to uh, you select the drop uh, drop down. So in drop down you can see the name of your subflow okay once you select the name of the subflow go to set payload now i think we can access the value see now you can you are able to access the value so guys what we have to do to access a flow variable into subflow you have to you know you have to use the flow reference in the main flow to call the subflow that's how you can access your flow variable into subflow Okay, so now how you can access the flow variable into the child flow or into other flow. Okay, so 
let me drag and drop flow into the message canvas region okay we have the drag and drop so now again i will use set payload we will drag and drop the set payload in the message processor region of the other flow okay i will try to access the value flow variable flow was so we cannot access so guys how you can access the flow variable of the main flow so for that again we have to use the flow reference okay so let me drag and drop the flow reference here okay so now you have to give a flow name so it will uh, so three thing so our uh, flow name where you have to access the uh, flow variable that is flow var f flow 1 okay now i will try to access i will say dot so see you can access the code now of the main okay so i will i will give summary of that so what uh, how you can access the flow variable and how you can store the flow variable first thing uh, for storing the flow variable you have to use the variable component okay and okay variable component if you want to access the uh, that way flow variable into the sub flow or into the sub, into the child flow you have to you have to use the flow reference into the main flow okay from main flow you have to call the other flow or sub flow and you are uh, you are able to access the flow variable okay thanks thank you for watching video